goodness. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Oh my goodness. The batteries exploded. My goodness. What just happened? Did you guys see that? This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. I'll tell you guys exactly what's going on here. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything Invata installation, everything going green, all right? And it's so lovely to have you guys today. And right here is a very damaged battery. So this battery right here is exploded, right? The battery couldn't take what was put into the battery. So the containers of the battery, everything about the battery, the cell, everything exploded. So this video is not meant to scare you, all right? Because I know a lot of people have these tubular batteries in the house, all right? Because a tubular battery essentially is like a car. And everyone can agree with me that a car is relatively safe, right? Until you decide to start driving it recklessly all over the place. And then it becomes dangerous that's just how the batteries are so i'm going to be telling you guys the seven extreme conditions and misapplications that can cause this battery to explode are you guys ready i would love you guys to do me a special favor okay please guys kindly go out of your way to do this because this is how you support this work that we're doing all right for some reason we haven't been able to get the desired traction that we would have loved at this point in time uh, on Instagram and Facebook. So we'd love you to head over to Instagram and Facebook and support us by subscribing, all right, or following us on this platforms you can see the handles right here on the screen thank you so very much guys i appreciate it so this is something we're not going to forget in a hurry we owe you guys one right <laughs> number one is charging the battery with the transit cap or mobile cap on so this is the transit cap or mobile cap all right so this is to ensure that you don't have a spillage of the electrolyte from the battery when the battery is on transit so this is meant for you to use and cover it tightly so there's going to be shaking in the movement and of course when you hit the bumps and all of that which is probably going to make the battery to spill but if you have this cover in place and cover it properly no problem so if you use this and cover it properly when this battery is being moved from one place to the other it is going to prevent the electrolyte from being spilled but it becomes a problem when you get to your destination connect the batteries and you still keep it locked this is not going to allow the hydrogen to escape when you're charging the batteries because when the batteries are charging the hydrogen escapes from the battery all right so if it doesn't see a way to escape the next thing is oof it's gonna explode <laughs> the reason is that it doesn't have an air vent where your batteries can breathe from so you're meant to replace it with the floating gauge so this is the floating gauge all right and it's important that that happens because when the battery is charging it emits hydrogen and if the hydrogen does not see an air vent to escape from the battery is definitely going to explode so it's important if you're an installer a homeowner always ensure that the transit cap or mobile cap is removed and replaced with the floating gauge that's very important don't forget it's very important i'm talking to you now <laughs> let's move on to number two guys and at number two the extreme conditions and misapplications that can make your batteries explode <laughs> don't be scared the battery needs a lot of ventilation guys anywhere you're putting this battery always ensure that there is a lot of ventilation don't put it in a room tightly in close places and you just shut the door that's dangerous because when the batteries are charging my friend it needs to emit hydrogen and when the hydrogen is coming out of the batteries and circling in a particular environment and it's not dissipating it's a potential bomb <laughs> don't do that guys and most preferably if you have a space on the outside this guy is gonna love it so very much so let's move to number three number three extreme conditions and misapplications that can make your batteries explode no need for you to worry okay so once you observe these rules you'll be fine okay overcharging a dead battery so after a while when you've used this battery for a very long time there's something definitely you're going to notice you will notice that the battery charges very fast but discharges fast so once you start charging the battery before you can finish the wall jack robinson the battery is full <laughs> all right and before you can also say the same jack robinson 
the battery is completely depleted so the battery is going down it's no longer able to back up our uh, energy for you all right so a uh, for instance this is supposed to be a 2.64 kilowatt and you realize that that is not being backed up anymore that means the battery is dead so you have to be very careful when you're charging such batteries that's how the inverters and the charge controllers begin to reduce the energy that goes into the battery but for a dead battery where you have little or no resistance the charge controller and the inverters will keep charging until the battery explodes because this guy is not going to give you resistance <laughs> all right so you keep charging keep charging keep pumping in energy and the battery just blows up so when your battery charges fast and depletes fast that my friend is when you need to be extremely very careful <laughs> all right so let's move to number four number four extreme conditions and misapplications on the battery that can make the batteries to explode trying to parallel a battery when it's equalizing that is extremely dangerous that's like a potential bomb <laughs> all right so you should never do that anytime you're equalizing a battery that's not the right time for you to parallel a battery you need to realize that when you're equalizing a battery the battery is charging at a very high voltage all right so if the battery is a 24 volt system the battery is going to be uh, charging at 32 volts if the battery is a 48 volt system it's going to be charging at 64 volts all right so when that is happening that means the battery is at its last threshold of the amount of voltage it can hold all right so any addition of voltage is going to make the battery to explode and when you add a battery sometimes there could be a reverse movement and it pushes back voltage into the battery and the battery is going to explode so when you want to parallel the batteries this is what you're going to do shut down your charge controller shut down your inverters make sure that no energy is going into the battery all right everything should be normal all right and before you parallel the battery also ensure that the two batteries you're about to parallel are the same type of batteries they have to be the same chemistry they have to be the same battery same age so that you don't have the differences in the battery voltage all right so and if you're trying to add a new one to a relatively old one so what you definitely have to do is to charge them individually so that you balance it up and then you connect it together and there's no problem Number five, extreme conditions and misapplications you can put on these batteries and the battery will explode. <laughs> don't be scared, don't be scared. Let's go to number five, charging the battery with the wrong voltage. It's important that you select the right settings from your charge controller or from your inverter. And firstly, before you install this guy, find out what the charge parameters are. What is the bulk voltage? What is the absorption voltage? What is the float voltage? What is the equalization voltage? Once you misapply the wrong voltage on this guy and you charge it for a very long time, it can potentially explode and most especially when the battery is aging it's important that you have to know all the parameters everything observe all the rules don't just connect up and go you need to be able to select the right voltage to be able to charge this guy but once you do everything you're supposed to do no worries at all because this battery is a great battery and it's very safe <laughs> let's move to number six all right so number six so what is number six going to be all right i just remembered <laughs> number six extreme conditions and misapplications uh, on these batteries that can potentially make it to explode number six is going to be overcharging a battery that has been frequently refilled with electrolyte now i've said this a thousand times if you have to refill the electrolyte in this battery when it's gone down what are you going to use fellows <laughs> always remember you do not use an electrolyte to refill the battery it has to be a distilled water and distilled water i mean water that is free from all chemical compositions all right a very distilled water <laughs> okay that's what you're going to use but some people make the mistake of always using electrolyte to refill the battery so when you use electrolyte to refill the battery the acidic level in the battery is very high and if you're charging the battery constantly when that has happened that can potentially cause explosion number seven extreme conditions and misapplications that can make this battery go poof. <laughs> that can make these batteries explode all right so you have to observe everything you have to be very cautious with these batteries the batteries are safe always remember that 
but don't do the wrong things because if you do the wrong things the batteries will potentially explode now mixing batteries of different kinds i'll give you an example this is a flooded lead acid battery tubular battery and you say I, I have another tubular battery which is from another brand let me mix it up together that's not a good thing for you to do my friend never ever mix up batteries of different kinds it must be the same battery and same age that is very important now this is what happens when you connect two batteries of different kinds they have different chemical compositions and there's going to be different chemical reactions so the charge time and the charge response is going to be different as well as the discharge time and the discharge functions all right so so one brand of battery is going to be charging a lot faster than the other brand and this is solely due to the fact that you have a lot of additives a lot of chemicals a lot of compositions so one might charge faster and the other one is going to charge slower so you're going to have a lot of unbalanced flow of current and voltage in the battery and when you are equalizing the battery that can potentially cause explosion as well so always make sure that you do not mix batteries that's a no-no that is a terrible idea don't ever do that <laughs> thank you so very much guys that's the very much we can do today please guys kindly follow us on instagram and facebook we need to get all the traction we can we appreciate this please go out of your way to do this for us this is how you support this work that we're doing all right thank you so very much guys do not forget to subscribe comment share and like see you guys in the next video